little more motherfucking films, nigga. So I seen you on Famous Animal, man. Yeah, Famous yeah. Animal TV. Yeah, you I feel me? Famous Animal. Shout out to Dope Shit Crew only, man. Yeah, yeah man. man. You was talking about that uh that that, that flex with yeah. uh with Duke Deuce. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? How that come about, man? Speak on Duke Deuce and you know what I'm saying? Just how y'all linked in and put that shit together. Really out networking, really, you know, little um, I would say pop up shops or you know, little just meet and greets type shit. Mm -hmm. I got a link for somebody to come to a meet and greet. I really popped in, but. I had to do my research, you know, where he was going with his career, so you know, I thought it was a good move for me. Yeah, 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 I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, that, that was that's a big song right there. Y'all y'all go check that out, man. That flex. You know what I'm saying? Featuring City Chapo and uh Duke Deuce. You know what I'm saying? On our platforms. So I guess on our platform. Yeah. On our platforms. So what made you want to get into the music game, bro? I don't, I don't know, really, you know, that shit kinda started when you a child, really like you know, you would catch a vibe with certain music, and then my pops played all type of music, so, mm -hmm. you know, I had a karaoke, you know, younger, just doing shit, but, I don't know, I guess a different way out, mm -hmm. especially when you from where you from, and if it ain't if it ain't the NBA, the NFL, you know, what's next? How you gonna make a different way? You know, rap ain't the only thing either, you know, it's just a business move to me. Yeah, yeah, I feel you, I feel you. Yeah, man, so what you, uh... Who was some of the niggas? Who was some of the niggas City Chapo grew up listening to? What what niggas was listening to in Springfield? I mean, yeah, in uh in Springfield, cause we was goddamn, we was on that Boosie and Gucci and oh, plies sure. and shit real heavy down here. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what was y'all on in Springfield? You feel me? Oh, we fuck with Boosie heavy. Yeah. Yeah, the whole city fuck with Boosie. Boosie, yeah. Gucci, Jeezy, can't leave your guy there. Like, man, what? Yo yeah, guy, man. you know, he set the tone. Book. Yeah. So you you just said Gucci and Jeezy, man. I know you seen the I know you seen the uh, the little verses about them. Yeah. Was, was, was you one of these niggas who was going? Oh, uh, 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 did you pick somebody at the beginning? Did you pick a nigga at the beginning of the shit? So I gonna, picked Gucci. You gonna put me in that situation? I'm finna do it at the beginning from the get go, and <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. Look, Jeezy, I feel like Jeezy won that motherfucker with the music. You feel me? That what? But overall though, like. Career wise, I'm gonna ride with Gucci and I'm gonna let you answer and then I'm gonna tell you why I chose Gucci after you get your answer. I I chose Gucci. I mean I chose Jeezy. From the beginning. From the beginning, just because I knew Jeezy content of what he had and like what his what his music did to me personally. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it put you in that vibe and the shit that he was talking about. I also, you know, I liked Gucci because I was a fan of both. So, you know, it really put me in a mix with, you know, you gotta pick a side, like in that situation I picked Jeezy, but when I watched the or when I watched the verses, I feel like Gucci won. You feel like Gucci won. See, I, it's entertainment at the end of the I day, said. so it's like o overall, bro. Gucci sold the show. He did. He's like so. This, this was my whole thing, and you tell me if I'm wrong. You feel me? Yeah. I grew up just like you, yeah. listening to both of these niggas. Yeah. To me, that nigga Jeezy was like on some cartel shit, like on some shit that niggas <laughs> the everyday nigga ain't finna see this shit. He talking about. You know what I'm saying? This nigga talking about 18 wheelers and tractor trailers with kilos. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, ain't that niggas ain't seen that shit. Goo goo up though was, was talking about some regular shit, bro. Like, what a nigga, can, what a nigga really, so, really cannot tame. You so feel me? You got to look at his music then. Like, it's the difference of if you still in the trap and Gucci got trap house music, niggas is relating to that. Never had a bank account. You see what I'm saying? So, that, 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 at the same exactly. time. You can switch to the next song and listen to Jeezy and you're like, man, fuck this trap house, you know. Yeah, he motivates you. Yeah, yeah, I'm finna go find me a plug. Yeah, he motivates you to go bigger. So you really couldn't, you feel me? It's, a, it's all about your play selection, because at that time we was burning CDs and all that stuff. Yeah, so for real, for real. You real. gonna put the Jeezy, Gucci, yeah. Boosie, yo yeah, guy, yeah, like, yeah, my, yeah. My little tape was going crazy. Because I was on, I was on, I was really on, I'm just gonna have a conversation with you, bro. I was really on some shit like, this nigga Jeezy had motherfucking Puff Daddy. Def Jam Records, Big Meech, <laughs> Goddamn, ain't no telling who else. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like in his corner, and, and Gucci just over here with Zaytoven in the basement. You feel me? And them niggas still made it on the stage together. Like that was grinding. It's all about who you knew. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking at that like, man, just just off that alone. That what made me respect Gucci a lot. I had man. to ride with Guwap, bro. That what made me respect Gucci because, like, I ain't gonna lie, like Gucci a grinding motherfucker, like yeah. For real. Yeah, they man. They both was grinding, but, like, Gucci had a different type of grind. It was like, I always root for the underdog at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little more motherfucking feelings, nigga.